remember for the people that are struggling with, um, you know, the job that you have, trying to figure out what you should do from this point on, because SJD has a stronghold over you. Well, keep this in mind. All right. <clears throat> Including you, Steve Fletcher. Including you in your bunker. All right. Look, Stephen James, the Sean, the owner of YouTube, social media platform, the one that was, I don't know about owner, but the one that was given authority to rule. When he said that when you go into bunkers, the ones that think that none of this is going to happen, like the lava is going to come get you. Well, he was talking to you, Steve Fletcher, because the video was 222. Two, two. And he was specifically talking about people that go into their bunkers and don't believe that the lava is going to come. Well, I can't promise you anything, right? But I wouldn't go in the bunker anyway. Just in case, you know, like just in case. I just wouldn't go in the bunker anyway. So there's groups of people that some are going in their bunkers and they don't believe that the lava is going to come and get them and that the rocks are going to fall in and cave in on you. Well, you guys are cowards anyway, just so you know. And then the ones that stepped off from Steve's spell, man, do I commend you guys for doing it because you see... Hey, he never touched Rabin. And I'm publicly saying it, knowing that there's a possibility that I could get touched. And that something could happen to me. Or people really close to me. But, what are you supposed to do? bow down to another man I don't think so so when he says nothing's gonna happen remember all you fruitcakes nothing's gonna happen until the days of Adam are all fulfilled in 2021 all right but hmm, I don't know Steve how come you're threatening people that lava's gonna come and get them all of a sudden now you know what I mean like all of a sudden there's this threat that lava's going to come at you, and it's going to and pot boiling water. It's going to pour down in your bunker, and you're going to burn like a lobster to death. And then I'm going to eat you. It goes from that. Well, it goes from nothing's going to happen, you fruit cakes. And hey, Steve Fletcher, look, I understand you're halfway in. You're like okay. Here's the, here's the. The group's people. You're that group of persons that stepped away from Steve. However, you're still going into your bunker because you're scared. All right. It's a step. At least you're stepping away from the king of media. All right. Which looks like you're going on your own. However, um, you're still lying with your... You know damn well the rapture doesn't exist. Or you wouldn't be in your damn bunker, would you? So... You got to deal with the consequences of what God has in store for you, Steve Fletcher. Two, two, two. Stephen James, well, his consequences is he's going to be crushed spiritually inside when nobody comes to his help. And the Bible is fulfilled right in front of his face, and he is the last person to finally believe it. So when you have threats and you have a double mind and you speak out of the side of your mouth, you're going to say two, three different things. You're going to say that nothing's going to happen. All the dates are going to come and pass. In other words, peace and safety, right? For when they say peace and safety and sudden destruction. Steve knows. He has the entire world script in his hand. There are people that don't know that he surveils everybody. That's why you think he's so, like, a prophet from God. Because he knows what's going on. You could tell he knows. I can tell he knows. But I can tell there's a script in front of him. That's the difference between him and myself. God said, don't carry a script. You know, don't carry two pairs of shoes, a backpack. I don't know what. Just no script whatsoever. I paid attention to that. No script. 
they have their screws. So you got the ones that are going in the bunker that kind of left Steve, but you're, I mean, good, look, hey, at least you left, all right? Going in the bunker, it's a coward move, but you'll see, you'll understand why. Because we're coming back up anyway. We're getting thrown in lines down soon, and um, everybody's going to help each other. That's just the way it is. That's when they, that's also when the elite, look, not only does everything confirm that Steve is a fraud and uh, nobody's coming to his help, but when, when people start helping each other, when all this stuff happens, as they're surveilling us with all the cameras that are in the world, when the power's out and you think that the cameras don't work, well, you know, that's the one thing that is going to be working very clearly too, at night also. But what they're going to see is we are going to come to everybody's help, just like I said that we would. And they're going to see that fulfill right in front of their faces. Also, along with all the other stuff that's been going on, that their top employee has been exposed for everything that he is, and he's coming to his end. So you have those people that hop in the bunker, get away from them. You have the people that are not going in your bunker, but you're just st stepping off. And then there's you guys that are still there, hanging on by a thread. I'm saying just let go of the thread. Let it go. You only have to tolerate it when all this stuff happens and it's absolute complete chaos and destruction and everything. There's a, there's a week's period of time when nobody helps Steve with his deception anymore. Remember, YouTube is part of taking the kingdom by force, the god of forces. That's Steve's god, the god of forces. He's going he's gonna to know my God really soon. He's going to know him after nobody helps him. Because after the first day, he's going to still hold on like, oh, they're, they're coming. They're, they're, just, they're just probably held up in traffic or something. And then the next day comes along. It's like, <laughs> oh, I wonder what else, how's traffic doing? And then the third day comes along. And then the fourth day. At this time, by the fourth day, Steve is dropping to his knees. At least one knee. At least one. And then the fifth day, his other knee is going to be shaking like, I don't want to drop it to the ground. <laughs> Damn it. And after the sixth day, well, both knees are dropping to the ground. And the seventh day, the head is bowing and the tongue is confessing. And he is repenting. And then all those threats that you guys have heard and none of it comes true, That's when you'll know. So just understand this. What is it, Steve? Huh? Is something going to happen or is nothing going to happen? Because you sure seem very confident, just like when you said that that website was going to go down real soon. Oh boy, did that website go down like that. And as soon as you said it was coming down, you know, Zeus that wrote all that... Stuff that wasn't true about you. About being the vicar of Lucifer, the head Luciferian here in the United States. Top gang stalker. You, LeBron James, James Harden, James Gist, James that, the James Fa the Fitz James family. Just like you said that that website was going down, and now you are sounding exactly the same as you were back then, now, about YouTube going down. So, boy, do I believe you. Because I know that you're behind all of it. You are manipulating YouTube with your showing us how your videos are on private, but they're really public, but they're really on private, and you can't change it, and it's getting, it's, the video has just been shut down, and we know. I've been expecting this for a long time now. So when it finally happens, and I'm expecting it, tch, on, your spell doesn't work. So you're showing us, you're flexing your muscles there, Steve, when it comes to YouTube. And we know it's getting shut down. Durr! So watch, people. Okay? Watch. I wouldn't be surprised if Steve gets shut down before me. I would not be surprised. And the funny thing is, I could keep this to myself, but I've realized that even when I know the truth, and I know it's going to happen before it does, 
and I say it even though I know Steve is going to hear me, he cannot contain himself. He has to follow through with his will. Because my will and my God, you know, the name of my God is, hey, uh, Father, that's the name of my God. I don't need some kind of title to pray to my dad, all right? So my God is different from his. However, he'll find that out soon. He'll find out what it's like to know the true, the only true God. So when nobody comes to his help, that's when he'll turn finally. And again, this situation that's happening with him having the world script in his hand. This is the world script, everybody. All right. This is why he has all this authority and power over you. Because there's people that don't even know how much he surveils you. Right? He knows what you're thinking. He knows what you're saying. It's like, you're like, oh my God, how did he know that? <laughs> it's because he's watching you through your damn phone. Like right now, as you're recording, before you upload a video, he's watching you. Anybody that he needs to watch, at any specific time, he can watch. So that's why he knows, Steve Fletcher, that you're going in your bunker. That's why he's telling you it's not going to happen, 222. You're Steve Fletcher, 222, right? That's what I thought. So you see how he knows? You see how these things have been t trying to tell everybody that everybody was giving me a hard time? Like, no, you, you got to back off, Rob. It's SJD. You leave him alone. He's just a poor suffering servant. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, right. Gotcha. He's in complete control. He's been given authority, just like the Bible says. That he is that person that's playing out. Is he really the person? Well, I mean, he's the person playing it out. So, yeah, I mean, the Bible's talking about him. You know? He's talking about other people, too. So, when you begin to understand, you know, the mystery and who's who, really. So, when someone's playing somebody else and they're really not, well, what does that make them? It makes them an antichrist. So, man, I'll tell you, the world's script, right, it's being played out. Steve knows all these people in high, 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 high places. And a lot of those people, well, they've already turned and changed their mind. They just haven't told Steve all the way. He's seeing it. He's seeing it now. The videos of aiming directly at you guys that are going in your bunkers and the ones that are turning from him, the ones that are turning from him, period, and then the ones that are turning from him going in their bunkers and not helping them anymore. Either way, I commend all of you from, for turning from him. Now, there's just the remnant that needs to turn. The ones that are going to uh, have great fear is going to come upon you. The fear of God is going to come into your heart. Because you're going to see all these things and it's like, oh wow. <laughs> you yeah. know? So for the ones that already turned, Good job, man. Good job. It took a while, right? I mean, getting... Don't you hate, like, going into work, walking to eggshells? Like, I hope Steve doesn't yell at me today. <laughs> don't worry, guys. I'm not like that. I don't yell at people. I've run, ran a business where uh, I was, you know, sabotaged. I had, like, Steve and James there as the maintenance manager. You heard the story before, right? And... I wasn't even getting paid for my work and that people were complaining and I still had them come into work, you know, out of respect for me. If it wasn't for that, the business would have collapsed. Uh, but I'm used to dealing with people's personalities that are different and learning how to talk to each individual person on their level. And if everybody's in this room at the same time, I can talk to each individual person still on their level without needing to, uh, cause a division among people it's a gift that god gave me so i'm going to use it to my benefit so anyway you know when i'm in charge of distributing the world goods and um organizing you know how to get things done the right way well you're not gonna have to walk on eggshells when you're around me so just know that steve has been threatening you guys all this time because he is surveilling you. The, for the ones that work for him and don't know he's surveilling you, he is. 
for the ones that don't know at all that he's surveilling and he's the head Luciferian here in the United States, even though he's really not, he's worshiping Lucifer and Lucifer's not worshiping him. But just understand that, um, well, that is who it is. That there he is. He's the I look. He's the guy behind the curtain. He is the Wizard of Oz. He just is. He's Plankton. He's he's all those characters that. He's all those characters that Warner Brothers have, had made cartoons about, and all the other cartoon characters. The one that wants to rule the world but never can, and gets so close. He's so close. It's like he's he ta he can taste. The victory, but he can also taste defeat, because defeat is knocking at his door. It's right there. He just won't answer it. He is barricaded at door. Like no defeat, you're not getting me. It's coming, Steve. 